Welcome back. So, Innova tools, an adjustable radius trail. As you can see, uh, it's 14 by 4.5 inches. So, if you haven't seen any trials like this before, definitely subscribe because I don't think this will be the last special trial you'll see. Um, Let's get stuck in here and we'll, we'll talk more about this. I think I'm pretty excited about this one. I think you'll be very excited when you see it as well. So obviously an adjustable trial sounds good. I've seen a couple, nothing even compared to this. Not sure if I have to assemble this or not. Hope, hopefully not. Hopefully it's done. It's packed up well and it's already assembled. Make sure in the edges. Flexible metal. Very comfortable handle. I didn't think the handle would be as comfortable. The handle's quite comfortable. So, trial feels like it's ready to go. Just checking these rivets. There's obviously only four rivets because there's four attachments. So, these are thinking this is adjustable. Here's the the small Allen key here. So let, let's let's do a wee quick demo here on what this thing can actually produce. Gotta loosen. 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 Now obviously your, your issue here will be don't lose this, otherwise you you'll have to have Allen keys with you. So that's the loosened up. So let me see. Let, let's say we're gonna round this corner here. Just have a, a flowing wall. We we'll want this wall to flow right round. So let's say we, we want that to happen. Let's see. Get this right there. So let's say we want a big sweep on this wall. You can see the curve here from up above. When I tighten up the wee algae nuts. And slid on there a wee bit. So I'll have it on the, the max curve anyway. And obviously it has a wee spot for that. One side longer than the other, they're both the same. Fits in perfect. It's quite tight so shouldn't lose it. So we've got an arch going on here. Now I can drop these out I think as well and get a wee bit of extra bend on it. But So if you're wanting that wall to curve Obviously, you will stud it a bit too. And that'll be pretty good for the likes of lofts as well. So, it's going to give you that bow 
and it also can bow the other way if you were doing say a column or something possibly so let, let's give that a wee quick check so obviously obviously you're going to want to see this in action guys so hopefully I'm actually off at the minute with this um, coronavirus but hopefully something something um, will give with that and we'll be back to work and obviously this is a, a new tool to me as well so it will take me time to to get used to the best the best way that's it flat again so if I want that just for talk's sake I'll put them ones fully in right so you can take the handle off as well if you need more of a bend so obviously you can the way that there's an arch in the handle you can spin it round I think you'll have to take do you have to take them right out? Let me see. It'll be the longest unboxing video, guys, but definitely an interesting tool. Let's see if we can take one home key completely out. Right, okay. Possibly added some of this part out for you, not to bore you too much. Right, so. But I've seen other adjustable trials where the hands adjustable, but the handle's adjustable, so you can sort of hold the handle one way and the other way. But not nothing, nothing compared to this at all. They spin as well. Give it a, a good check over for you. I'll definitely put links to this this company in the description as well, and that is get a good look. Not that. This company has sent me this themselves, so obviously I'm not sure on the prices. But even if this thing was 80 quid, it's a very unique tool, and depending on what you're going to be doing, it could be very good. So obviously you would have less clearance that way. So if you turn it around, you'll have more clearance. So let's turn it around. Here we go. We're in business. Right, so I want them ones that way. Oh no, I should have tightened this one up that way. The only tool that is coming close to this in my mind so far is uh, the Rambos and coin cutter, where it's adjustable and very handy. The Rambo's coin cutter has a wee bubble on it, a wee level on it. Um, not that you would need this on this. Where this trial would come in very handy is plastering niches. With that handles adjustable too. You take the padding off. That's very good. Very good. So it's the M2 that I want on tight. Do 
I really can't wait to get something done with this. Um, even if I'm doing a loft, I'm going to use this to show you. Um, probably won't use it for a bell cast. Um, may do though, may do. May use it for a bell cast. So, what were we wanting to do? We were wanting to bend it the other way. So, if you were doing like a column or something, some, or a wall that rounded out the other road. Was that way I was going to go on it? Or was it that way? Just to show you the shape. Keep on tightening it and on tightening it. So if you were doing something column shaped, you'd be able to come up at two and I've still got, there's a bit less room there. I would say if the, if you could get another sh longer ones of them, it would be even more give you even extra height but again and let me see that way so let me see now very fiddly on this tool guys at the minute so for them too tight and bend them too out. The beauty about the trowel is that like, if it was a rounded shape board you could always press it in and get the shape that you want, you know, it's always going to work best in these corners, do you know what I mean, if that was a loft, strike two lines, you can see that working very well for that, for that shape. Plenty of far, far more room that way, but definitely a very good tool, guys. So far, very impressed. So far, very good steel. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting something done on this. You can get all sorts of shapes in this, one side, one side bent, you can have both sides bent and have, again, perfect round. That's the other way it can go as well, so if you were doing a column, you could possibly come up and down it. No, column would be like a, like a, a rounded thing, or a coping stone, and on the top of a coping stone, you could roll it in, very good for niches, and any, anything that's real awkward, you're going to find a good, good place for that, now obviously if you look at the tool the way, that's high that way, that's high that way, if you swap that round, you'd have that wee bit of knuckle room, where I didn't, in the other way, that's what I was trying to show was the knuckle room that got a wee bit mixed up. But you can definitely see how this is gonna come into some cracking zones. You may only need it for one job, but it would be worth having for that one job and for other jobs, for sure. So imagine that was the, the loft shape that you want. I'm sorry about the audio here. That was a lot of 
off, see if you want it. You can pull all the way up. Especially if you measure two legs and straight them out, it would be the perfect round. And just walk. It feels perfect. I feel like it would just be absolutely perfect. But you just get the, the idea of what I'm saying. Definitely if you were coming straight across, big hip, seen it all the way. Mm -hmm. 